Sales for China's electric vehicle maker BYD soar as Tesla takes a hit. However, uncomfortable scrutiny is mounting for Elon Musk, who has massive business ties in China. We are here with a new, interesting episode. BYD is preparing to introduce a revolutionary technology that could completely transform the automotive industry. In 2025, the company is set to launch a new engine that will break all existing standards and redefine the competition. This is not just another electric vehicle, it's an extraordinary innovation that has the potential to leave other automakers far behind. More than two decades ago, Toyota rocked the world with a car that looked like a big step toward a greener future. But a lot has changed in 20 years. Toyota just unleashed a weapon so powerful, it's so much ahead of Tesla and China, it's just, it's almost ridiculous. It could wipe out electric cars as we know them. In a world where everyone thought EVs were the future, Toyota just threw down the gauntlet with a brand new engine that could spell disaster for battery-powered vehicles, including BYD, one of the biggest EV giants. Tune in because what Toyota just revealed might change everything we thought we knew about the future of cars. The comeback of combustion. Toyota just sent a shockwave through the auto industry and it has every electric vehicle company scrambling. In a time when governments and car makers are betting everything on electric power, Toyota just pulled a move that could change everything. A brand new engine, so strong, so efficient, and so game-changing that it might just bring down the entire electric vehicle market. Some experts are already calling it the ultimate knockout punch, a technology that could keep combustion engines roaring for decades. And the craziest part? Toyota may have just made EVs obsolete. Now what makes this engine such a massive deal? Is this really the moment that electric cars start their decline? And how exactly does Toyota plan to take on the entire electric vehicle industry? Let's break it all down. Before jumping into Toyota's latest disruptive innovation, it is worth looking at how the company built itself into an industry powerhouse. Toyota was not always the giant it is today. It started in the year 1937 under Kichiro Toyota. Growing from a textile machinery business his father, Sakichi Toyota, founded. The company's first major success came from an automatic loom invention in 1924, which introduced the principle of machines stopping automatically when a problem was detected. That thinking carried over into car manufacturing, ensuring Toyota built a reputation on quality and efficiency. With the money from selling the loom patent, Kichiro took a leap into car production. By 1936, Toyota had its first passenger car, the Model A, rolling off the line. A year later, Toyota Motor Company officially came into existence. But success did not come easy, especially after World War II, when the company was nearly wiped out by economic struggles. Instead of collapsing, Toyota reinvented the way cars were made. Executives like Taiichi Ono created what became the Toyota Production System. This changed everything. The focus was on efficiency, cutting waste, and making only what was needed with just-in-time production, along with a relentless pursuit of quality. Toyota refined its process until it became the industry gold standard. By the 1950s, Toyota was producing cars that people actually wanted to buy. The Toyota Crown hit the streets in 1955, proving the brand could compete in passenger cars. But the real game-changer came in 1966 with the Corolla, a car built for everyday people that would go on to become one of the best-selling vehicles of all time. Toyota was no longer just another car maker, it was setting the pace for the entire industry. Through the decades, Toyota mastered the art of making legendary engines. It all started in the 1930s with the Type A, a big 3.4-liter inline-six that powered Toyota's early sedans. By the 1950s, the R-Series engines became the backbone of the brand, powering everything from family sedans to the rugged Land Cruiser. These engines were known for their toughness and dependability, traits that would define Toyota for years to come. Then came the 1990s, and Toyota entered the performance world in a big way. The one JZ GTE and two JZ GTE engines became the stuff of legends. The one JZ GTE, a 2.5-liter twin-turbo inline-six, was built like a tank and delivered serious power with incredible smoothness, found in models like the Chaser and Supra. It quickly gained a following among enthusiasts. But the real superstar was the two JZ GTE, a 3-liter twin-turbo inline-six that could handle absurd amounts of power with just a few tweaks. Straight from the factory, it made about 280 horsepower, but tuners quickly realized this engine could handle over 1,000 horsepower with ease. The two JZ GTE became an icon, making the Supermark IV one of the most famous performance cars ever built. 
Even decades later, people are still hunting down these engines for high-performance builds. Toyota was not just about speed, though. The company also pioneered hybrid technology, launching the Prius in 1997. While other automakers were still figuring out how to make fuel-efficient cars, Toyota was leading the charge with hybrid technology that combined a gasoline engine with an electric motor. This set the foundation for Toyota's domination in hybrid vehicles which later expanded to models like the Camry RAV4 and Highlander. But Toyota did not forget about power and durability, especially when it came to off-road and diesel engines. The 1HDT, a 4.22-liter turbocharged diesel was built for extreme conditions making the Land Cruiser 80 Series nearly unstoppable. By the 2000s Toyota introduced the 1KD FTV, a 3-liter turbo diesel packed with common rail direct injection for improved efficiency and torque. These engines became the heart of the Hilux and Land Cruiser. These bad boys work more like the gasoline engines everyone's used to, just swap out the fuel. That means all the growls, revs, and raw performance of an engine built to last. To build good cars and develop good EVs, you need strong core technology. R&D is the new long march of scientific and technological independence and self-reliance. The world has never seen an auto industry of this size and scale. This is a giant machine just getting ramped up, minus the nasty carbon emissions. Sounds too good to be true? Well, the Japanese giant seems to think they've cracked the code. Now, burning hydrogen isn't as easy as it sounds. It runs hotter than a summer road trip with no air conditioning, and that kind of heat can wreak havoc on an engine's efficiency and lifespan. But the carmaker's answer? Water injecting? Injecting water directly into the intake ports cools things down, making the engine run smoother and cutting emissions. It's a clever trick, and it just might keep combustion engines alive a little longer while everyone else is running toward electric motors. Speaking of electric, the manufacturer hasn't ignored batteries either. While some car makers are betting everything on plugging in, this powerhouse is hedging its bets with solid-state batteries. Unlike regular lithium-ion, these use solid materials instead of liquid electrolytes, making them charge faster, last longer, and cut down the risk of overheating. The goal is to roll them out by 2026. If this company pulls it off, these batteries could make electric cars run longer on a single charge and juice up in just 10 minutes. That's quicker than grabbing a cup of coffee. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Rumor has it the brand is working on a wild hybrid mix, solid-state batteries teamed up with a hydrogen combustion engine. If they nail this, it could mean a car with zero emissions, the range and refueling ease of a gas-powered ride, and the punch of an electric motor. That's a lot of big promises, but if anyone can shake up the industry, it's this forward-thinking automaker. While other automakers scramble to pump out more electric cars, this company is taking a step back and looking at the bigger picture. Some critics say they're dragging their feet, but the engineers insist they're playing the long game. Charging networks still have a long way to go and not everyone is ready to swap gas stations for plug-in ports. By keeping multiple technologies in play, this car maker is making sure drivers have options no matter where they are. And just when it seemed they were done, the corporation throws another curveball. They've cooked up a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine that cranks out over 400 horsepower. That's 400 ponies from a little four-banger. And here's the kicker. This engine is built to fit into all sorts of vehicles, whether they've got front-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, or even all-wheel drive. This manufacturer is not just making an engine, they're building a whole new playbook for high-performance cars. This company didn't just slap this thing together overnight, it's been tested, tweaked, and fine-tuned by the motorsport division behind some of the brand's most aggressive performance cars. They even showed it off at the 2025 Tokyo Auto Salon inside a mid-engine test mule, that's a pretty big hint that something exciting is on the horizon. And if the rumors are true, this engine might not stop at 400 horsepower, it could push even higher. What's the big deal about this engine? Well, in a world shifting hard toward hybrids and electric cars, this automaker is proving that old-school performance engines still have a place. They're keeping internal combustion alive, but with a fresh twist. It's not just about horsepower, it's about adaptability. This engine could drop into everything from lightweight coupes to high-powered sedans, meaning this company's performance cars aren't going anywhere anytime soon. This move signals something bigger for the Japanese brand and its luxury division. Some legendary nameplates might be making a comeback. Think Supra, Celica, and Amster 2. These icons define the automaker's performance legacy, and now they might be getting a serious upgrade. And it's not just about bringing back the past. This carmaker might also slide this beast into high-performance trims of their current lineup, giving drivers an extra dose of turbocharged adrenaline. 
Now let's talk numbers. Over 400 horsepower is nothing to sneeze at. That puts this new four-cylinder in the same league as some of the most respected performance engines out there. But the real trick is the engine's flexibility. It's not locked into one layout. Whether it's sitting sideways in a front-wheel drive hot hatch or dropped into a rear-wheel drive sports car, this engine is built to deliver serious power no matter the setup. This isn't just a solo act. The high-performance division played a major role in developing this engine, pulling from their experience in endurance racing, rally cars, and track-tuned beasts. That means this engine isn't just built for speed, it's designed to take a beating and keep going. Real-world motorsport engineering is baked right in, making sure that what ends up on the streets has already been tested on the track. This corporation is not just going toe-to-toe -to -toe with other Japanese brands either. This move puts them in the ring with the heavy hitters, things like Mercedes AMG, Audi Sport, and BMW M. The difference? The company is aiming to deliver the same high-performance thrills without the sky-high price tag. That's a big deal for car enthusiasts who want serious power but don't want to shell out luxury-level cash. So, does this shake up the performance game or just cheapen it? Let's hear your thoughts below. Like, comment, and subscribe for more deep dives into automotive game changers.